Hello everyone, it is Lucy here and I am back with another video of Animal Crossing. I just decided to get on to my island today and do some, um, I don't know, just some playing and so I figured I would just record a little bit. Um, so I have been having the worst luck today going to Turnip Islands. So I use the Turnip Exchange like all the time and I get ready and people are just... It's not working today. I don't know. People had like, um, I don't know, it was like over 500 bells per turn up. And then they started getting really bad reviews. And then it turns out that they only were selling turnips for like 178 bells per turn up. So I don't know. And then um, I just saw another one, but it wasn't high enough for me. I mean, it's okay, but it wasn't really high enough for what I was thinking. So I'm just going to wait and see if any more um, islands are doing turnip sales. Um, so that's why I have all my turnips in my inventory. So turnip day is a very special day. It's on Sundays and Daisy May comes to your island and she will uh, buy turnip. I mean, she will sell turnips to you. And so I bought like a ton of turnips this week and I am very active on the turnip exchange website for Animal Crossing. And I don't know, it's just not working out this week and it's kind of frustrating, but that's okay. I mean, people have issues, people have stuff going on. So we'll see. Uh, <laughs> but I'm hoping that someone will come along and then maybe we can go there. Uh, today to just sell our turnips. Um, I was thinking what I will do is I'll go around the island and collect my fossils. I did a shooting star island last night, so I wished on a ton of shooting stars last night, and um, I think I picked up all my star fragments, which is great. Um, let me show you my house. I guess I could do that while I'm waiting for this turnip exchange. Let me show you my house. I also invited Chief this morning because I'm going to get rid of Fret um, for Chief. So I'm excited about that. I invited Fret. I have his amiibo. My sister gave me his amiibo. Um, not gave it to me, but let me borrow it so that I could just get Chief in here. And I think the next villager I want to work on getting here is Puddles. Um, if I can figure it out in the editing process, I'll put a picture of her um, on the screen for you so you can see what she looks like. But she is so adorable and she is a peppy villager and I'm very, very, very excited about it. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm, I've been refreshing this turnip exchange website. Oh, we're gonna look at my house. Yes, that's why I made it all the way over here. And I have a ton of turnips and I got them all for my house because I was very excited that this person was selling them for over 500. Then another person was selling them for over 600 and then he had to shut down because he was having internet issues. So I don't know. Okay, so this is my house. This is my living room. As you can see, I'm very decorated. The Happy Home Academy hates me because they say that I don't have enough furniture that resembles each other, but I love the way my house looks, so I'm not gonna change it. Um, and then back here is my little workshop area slash playroom. So I really like coming in here and just working on stuff for the house. Um, I always have music on um, and I have this little cute radio. I have the cute wallpaper. I have the cute um, little shelf up there. That's what it's called is cute something, you know, cute wallpaper, cute this, cute that. <laughs> and then I have you know, my little desk over here with my typewriter, some bears, um, my hamster wheel, which kind of makes me icked out because I have Flurry, which is also a hamster, but she also has the cage and it's very concerning. So it's like, do you know what animal you are, Flurry? You're also a hamster. So <laughs> it's very concerning, but it's okay. Um, so anyways, oh, then I have my kitchen over here. Um, and then I bought this cute little dress this morning, which is, which I love, uh, very, very much. I love this little cute dress with my cute hat and my cute boots. Oh, we could do a tortoise island today. 
Yeah, so we could probably do a tortoise island today. Um, I don't know if I'll do any dodo airline islands today because I kind of want to save up my tickets so that I can go to some mystery islands at nighttime. Um, but I have the pie over here on my countertop. I have like all of my appliances. I have these cute little muffins and my coffee for the morning. Um, and that, like I said, I always have music on. I love the music. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping I can sell these turnips for, for some money. Um, and then this is my bathroom in here. This is where I usually keep all my turnips. Although this week, because I bought so much, I had to split it between the bathroom and then the living room. Um, but this is my bathroom. Nothing really that special. I have my toilet and my sink. I have my shower. Um, I have this little wax melter over here that I love. Um, and then I have my bathtub. I need to get more stuff for in here, but this is where I usually keep my turnips. So I kind of like to keep it clean in here. So at least have some place to put all my turnips. Um, and then I have my basement down here. Uh, and then my basement down here is kind of cool. It's kind of, uh, dressed up for the season. As you see, I have my, cute little interactive wall with the snow coming down it's called the ski lodge and then I have the iceberg flooring and then I have you know like a desk and a cat um it's like a cat oh gosh what is it called hold on now I have to look at it or it's gonna bother me cat tower oh my goodness okay and then I have music down here as well, and I have my switch up here, which I think it's kind of cool that the game knows what switch you have. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. I did get the Animal Crossing switch. I love it very much. Um, my sister gave me this wood stove over here, so I put it down here in my basement, and then, yeah, um, that's my basement. I love my basement. I love my whole house. But like I said, Happy Home Academy is not happy with me. They hate my house. Every Sunday they give me a poor rating. So I'm hopeful that I can get that rating up at some point, but I just love it so much. Oh my gosh, and then this is my flooring that I made today. I got it from Celeste last night. It's kind of interactive because if you turn the camera, it kind of like the stars stay the same, but the galaxy kind of rotates. So I don't know, it's kind of cool. Um, my sister made me this little peach chair and I have the, like, I have a sofa in here and I have another music player up here and I've kind of like had things so that they can match. So the carpet kind of matches this little, um, end of the bed table and then that matches this little chair over here and that I have a humidifier. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably change the wallpaper in here to be something else like stars or something, or maybe white or something. I don't know, probably like plain. Um, because it used to be like a green, like a light green wood. But now that I have the galaxy paper, I kind of, I mean the galaxy flooring, I kind of like the galaxy flooring a little bit better. So yeah. We'll see. Um, I have to kind of revamp my stuff, which I don't think I will do on video. I think I'll do that like off and then I'll just show you next time I decide that I want to record a little bit. But Boomer is here. Oh, kind of weird how we keep bumping into each other today. You know what's fun in winter? Eating cold ice cream in a hot room. Oh, Boomer. Or a hot piece of pie in a cold room or a cooled up, cooled off cup of hot chocolate in a regular room. Oh, Boomer, I love him so much. <laughs> uh, Fred is here. Oh, we can see Chief as well, because I summoned him this morning, thanks to my lovely sister who gave me his amiibo. Um, and I have a ton of amiibos, like I said in my first video, I have like a ton of amiibos that I really want to cycle through and make sure that they all work, first of all. Oh my gosh, he put up his raccoon sta statue that I made him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but this is Chief. I used to camp a lot when I was a kiddo. I remember singing songs around the campfire at night and staring at the flames until I got drowsy. It's rough it. It's rough in it compared to home, but that's part of the charm of camp in Harumph. Oh, Chief. I love you. <laughs> I love all of the villagers, um, except the anteaters. I do not like the way they look. I don't like them. I've run into several of them on Mr. Islands, and I don't. They're, like, not my favorite. So, uh, but Cleo is cute. She's out. I don't think I'll ever get rid of her. I don't have her. She's a purple horse. One of my favorite colors is purple. As you can see, I have a ton of like purple and orange flowers around my island. So as you can see, purple and orange are probably my favorite colors, <laughs> if you didn't know. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go around and I'll collect these things and then we can go see Blathers for a second and check him out. Um, and I will, I have another fossil that I picked up this morning. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, let me see if there's any other fossils around. We'll see if anything else is going on in the, on the island. I do have a five star rating, so I don't really care anymore about leaving stuff out. Um, I didn't really care before, but I, I really wanted my five star rating and now I have it. I got that a couple weeks ago. So I don't really care anymore if I leave stuff out because your island rating will not go down. Or at least when I used to watch, um, when I used to watch uh, live streams about it or videos about it, uh, it didn't go down and people just started leaving their stuff out everywhere. <laughs> so hopefully that has not changed, but let's see. Um, I did shake my money trees this morning. This is where all my money trees are up here. I replanted a money tree this morning. Um, if you're lucky, you can get three bags of the same amount of money that you put into the ground. So I've been putting 30,000 in, or at least trying to. Sometimes I've messed up and put only 1,000 in because um, it does take a few days for your money tree to grow. I thought I had a money tree over here, but maybe I... Ooh, balloon. Oh gosh, please don't. Okay. I was going to say, oh no. I was going to say, don't fall into the garden. Because if it falls into the garden, it is not a viable. Oh. It's not a viable balloon. Oh no, I cannot check this out. I wonder what that looks like. I probably have to do it in my house. All right. I'm going to put this fence back up. There we go. All right. Yeah, maybe we can go to the tortoise island today see what we get because I have been saying like I've been getting a lot of those vine islands with him but we could see um let me drop the rest of my chart up though because I kind of like to go to an island with a clean inventory just in case I see anything and I want to pick up all my tools again um like I said I kind of dropped everything and picked up all my turnips because I thought I was going to sell my turnips but ended up not not happening yeah, my turnip prices are awful. They're about like 30 bells or 34 or something, which is awful. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Okay. It's happening. <laughs> and then I kind of want to rearrange all of my tools so that they're in the right places. Um, I'm going to have Blathers go ahead and assess these fossils and then knowing that happening, I probably will find a ton of other fossils that are buried somewhere, which is kind of annoying, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, wooden simple bed, I can drop that. I like to keep my DOIs because a lot of places ask for you to just drop things so that people can come and catalog things or read things or whatever, um, you know, get DIYs and stuff when you go on the turnip exchange, so that's what I've been doing. Um, I've been just trying to keep all my stuff because before I wasn't and it'd be nice to just contribute here and there. Um, wooden simple beds, I'm sure are very, very easy to come by because I think you get those a lot in your starter stuff, but you never know. Maybe someone doesn't have it and they're looking for a, a simple bed and they don't have it. And all they have is a cot where you start out with a cot. So it might be kind of fun to drop that, but okay. Let's go down here to Blathers. 
and we'll see. We'll wake him up because he'll probably be asleep because he's a night owl. All right. I hate waking him up. Oh my gosh, there's something buried. What is that? Yes, another fossil. Yeah, I have all my fossils done. Um, so I don't need him to assess them. But the only reason why I have him assess them is because I noticed that if you don't, um, they're not worth that much. Whereas if you have him assess them, they're worth quite a bit. So that's why I have him assess them. How may I be of service? Assess fossils. Ooh, what do you have? Wait. What would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. Oh yeah, he loves fossils. He hates bugs. He absolutely detests bugs and insects. So. who more than one I see. Let's, let us take a closer look, shall we? Yes, indeed, quite splendid. Alas, our museum already has such fossils, or have fossils such as these. I am indeed tempted to purchase these for my personal collection, but now I must exercise restraint and return them to you now. Might I help you with anything else? Okay, never mind. Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. Okay, so I did buy a painting from Red this morning. He is on my island. Um, so I did buy a painting from him, and it's a famous painting, and it's not the fake one. See, I don't have very much in here because I just feel like Red's prices are a little... They're a little much, even though he says he gives you the cousin discount. So I think these are the only two paintings that I have of his. Um, oh, and then I did get this. The great statue. Okay. Yeah, I did get that statue. Um, and then I did get this painting too. But I think that's it. I don't think I have very much in here. Um, yeah, I don't see the fading famous painting in here so I guess we're good I was worried this morning when I bought it that it might be um I might have already had it but I don't have it so that's great perfect so I think what I'll do is I will head over sell the fossils and then I will go talk to the tortoise and take us to a mystery island so that we can go there all right let's go to a mystery island come on all right, so we are here at the Mystery Island. It is a sugarcane island, which is awesome. So I'm gonna collect all the sugarcane because it will sell really good at my island. Um, I have the bell boom in place, so I will get a ton of, uh, well, not a ton, but I'll get a lot more money if I didn't have the bell boom in place. I hear that mole cricket. I just really don't want to try and find it. Um, it takes a lot of work to try and find the mole cricket so um i don't i i'm fine with that okay so i'm gonna pick up all of these all of the items that i can sell and just get some money i need to get at least seven hundred thousand bells so that i can pay off the rest of my loan and i can get a um and i can get a bigger uh inventory space so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and I know there is a way that you can get eight things when you hit the rock, so like eight items, but I am so horrible at it that um, I'm not even going to attempt it. But I'm going to get these apples so that I can sell them at my sister's island because she has peaches and it'll be a lot, um, it'll be a lot better. So, alrighty. And then I got this gyroid thing. Gyroid fragment. I think I might have all of the gyro gyroids or I have unlocked them all. I don't know though. I think the last one I heard some say you have to earn it, but I don't know how you earn it. So I I don't think I've done that yet. <laughs> so maybe I don't have them all on. I think there's like 35 of them or something crazy like that. All right. I am gonna get all the sugar cane so that I can sell it at my island. And then I'm gonna go scour the beach, see if there is a DIY. I don't think there will be because we're not, we're not at a weird island, we're at a regular island, so. Um, not a weird island, but like, I don't know. 
the glowing moss island. I'm not at that. Oh, no, there is one. Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> I know there's usually, it's a hit or miss whether you get a DIY on the islands you take by plane. Um, if it's not your native fruit, or if it is your native fruit, you get a furniture wow. item as well if you go by plane. Um, if you shake the trees, you could get a furniture item. Whereas here, I don't think that there's furniture items in the trees. I have sat and sh shaken tons of trees and I never got anything. So I'm not even going to attempt that today. And this is in my same um, season. So I don't think there's going to be any new bugs or any new fish either. So we will go ahead and hit these rocks. Hopefully I can get something special out of them. Um, doesn't look like we're getting any gold nuggets or anything which is sad. Um, but yeah, you just go around and you hit all of the rocks and you make sure you get your resources. Um, but I'm not going to fish because I'm not even going to attempt trying to find better, um, like any other fish. I'm just going to wait uh, for my seasons to change. Hopefully I can get some better fish. Um, and let me just hit this rock as well. I really like the golden nuggets because I can make a lot of things with those. I'm starting to get a lot of like golden uh, DIYs, so those are good to have on hand. Um, some people like on the turnip exchange, I don't really go to a lot of places that have fees attached to it. Um, I just, it depends. I mean, I'm not, all I'm going to do, like me as my, my own person, all I'm going to do is just go sell my things or just go collect my DIY from. Celeste or just go sh wish on wish on some shooting stars. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I won't ruin your island. I won't tear it up. I promise. But like some people I know do that and it's so awful that people just go there purposely to, to screw things up. Um, but for me, I won't. I know I won't. So I try not, I don't really go to a lot of places that have fees. Um, because resources are hard to come by and it takes a long time for you to get the resources. So, yeah. That's just my personal opinion, especially Nook Mile tickets. Those take me so long. It used to be a lot faster at the beginning of the game because I was figuring everything out and I was getting like lots of fishes and lots of bugs and stuff. And now it's taking me a really long time. I think I got everything up here. What I may do is I may make Boomer some some snack bread when I get home so that way there he can have some snack bread because he's a lazy and he loves to snack so um, that's all they talk about is snack foods the lazies so oh I think I think I just hit that one okay all right so I'm gonna just head back to my island then I guess alrighty so Let's see. All right, let me look at my miles and then I'm going to go sell my stuff. Um, all right, so I got a thousand miles. I'm really trying to save these up so that I can take one night, do a stream or something, and then just go to a bunch of mystery islands because I love doing that. All right, you guys, I am going to end this video here. Uh, thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you all soon.